Hello and welcome to Civilization in about three minutes. It is a game for three to seven players. There is no official solo mode. Playing time is really long. It is a relatively complex game. It's around 4000 BC when the first major human settlements in the Fertile Crescent and the Mediterranean are starting to grow. You will lead your civilization through the perils of war, famine, civil war, epidemics and heresy. You will trade across the known world and develop technologies. But only one civilization can be the greatest in antiquity. The winner of this game is the player who moves to the end of the scoring track first. If multiple players finish on the same turn, it is the player with the most points who wins. Points are scored primarily by technology cards. Competitive. Only one player can win this game. Set collection. Collecting sets of trade goods is key to victory. Player turn. First off, you collect taxation. If you don't have enough to pay, your cities revolt and go to the player with the least amount of people. Then you gain population. One in a region with one unit and two in regions with more than one. A census is taken. The player with the most units will move first. You can move any number of units, one region each in your turn. Ships can move up to five units for spaces and can pick up and drop off units freely. Combat occurs after all players have moved, so a smaller civilization can react to an opponent's attack by withdrawing or reinforcing. Combat has players alternate removing units, starting with the smallest stack first. Keep removing units until you reach the region's population limit. Cities count as six units, so must be attacked with at least seven units. Cities can be built with six units in an area with a square, or 12 units anywhere else. Then, reduce population down to the region's limit. For each city you control, gain one trade card. These come from the numbered decks, so a player with six cities draws cards from the first six stacks. Cards are worth more if you have matching sets. You can trade them in groups of three, but you must truthfully say the total value of the cards and one of the cards in the set. In this example, bronze for nine is traded for cloth for eight. However, the cloth player has traded away an epidemic, which will be bad for the player receiving it. There are eight disasters, four are tradable, and four happen to whomever draws them. To buy technology, you must use trade cards and discounts. For example, coinage costs 110, but mysticism gives a 20 point discount. The player uses four cloth combined for 80 points, as well as other cards to make up the last 10. Once all Civ cards are purchased, move your scoring marker along of Able, and then start a new turn. Why would you like this game? Before there was a video game franchise, there was the original Civilization board game. Few games have a greater legacy in gaming than Civilization. It has no player elimination, a lot of come from behind mechanics, diceless conflict resolution, trade and set collection. All hallmarks of what we would call Euro gaming, but decades ahead of when those became popular. As a game, it has held up remarkably well in most areas. And even today, it feels far more epic and grand than other games in the civilization genre, and more coherent. It sticks to the ancient world and doesn't try to go beyond that, which keeps the immersion factor high. The single best thing about the game is the dramatic swings and changes that can occur via disasters and mismanagement. It's easy to build a large civilization, but very hard to keep one for long. However, playtime is the biggest detractor from this game and places it in the same category as super heavyweight games like Twilight Imperium 4. And while the game has a lot of strong come from behind mechanics, it takes a few plays to really understand how to make those work in your favor. The game has recently had a reprint for the first time in a long time, and although its content might be a little different to this version, I recommend checking it out. And to get incredibly meta, you can play the board game of the computer game inspired by this board game with Sid Meier's Civilization. And if you want a game about developing a civilization, but with a much shorter playtime, I recommend Civilization A New Dawn.